Mm, but, but I have to tell you, Emily, it's a whole new world from the one we remember. But the jacket was still appropriate? Oh, the jacket was fine. Although I must say, I felt wildly overdressed. The boys in undershirts and filthy baseball caps, the girls wearing pajamas and flip-flops. Well, it's the style, Richard. Mm, well, it's most peculiar. And you were firm with them. That's one thing that never changes. Young people respond to discipline. And after all, you don't want your course to be known as a gut. That's an easy class. I learned that term at dinner with the Sudburys, who learned it from their grandson, Paul. And how are the Sudburys? I hope you gave them my regards. Of course, and they sent you theirs, and then proceeded to bore me with the details of every stunning <laughs> vista they witnessed on their recent cruise to Alaska. If you ask me, they saw more of the baked Alaska than anything else. <laughs> You poor thing. You have a disappointing evening, and I have to give you the bum's rush to make my dinner with Harold at the faculty club. That's all right. You enjoy yourself. I probably won't wait up, so I'll say good night now. Good night, dear. Oh, for Pete's sake, what now? License and registration, please. Why do you need to see my license? I wasn't speeding. You were on a cell phone, ma'am? I don't see how that's your concern. Do my bills go to your office? It is illegal in Connecticut to talk on a cell phone while operating a vehicle. Well, that is absurd. I can't talk on my own phone in my own car. License and registration, ma'am? If I can manage to drink a cup of hot coffee and drive, I can talk on a cell phone. Or is coffee illegal, too? Can I listen to the radio? Can I open the glove compartment? Perhaps you should outlaw scratching your nose. That would certainly cut down on accidents. Ma'am, have you been drinking? What? No. This is outrageous. You know right now someone is robbing a quickie mart and you're standing there harassing me. I'm gonna need you to blow into this breathalyzer for me. Young man, I don't know where that's been, but I can say with absolute certainty it won't be going anywhere near my mouth. Oh, it got it. Thank you. <laughs> Am I smiling too much? You're smiling a lot. All right, I'll try to bring it down a notch. Well, it's about time. Oh, good. I get to walk this filthy floor again. I don't need any help walking. Thank you. Oh, thank you for giving me things that already belong to me. Well, you can all be very proud of yourself. You're doing a crack job. You finally got menace to society Emily Gilmore off the streets. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. Come on, put that thing away. One, two, three. Ah, <laughs> chin, smile, cheese. Oh, I got you already. Well, get, okay, later. Bye. Do you mind if I turn on the music, Mom? That's fine. What you in the mood for? Jailhouse Rock? Folsom Prison Blues? You're very funny, Lorelei. No, 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 I know, I know. We're working on the chain gang. Yes, it's all quite amusing, isn't it? My being arrested, held behind bars, manhandled and patted down. Hardy hard. Oh. I just have one question for you, Mom. Why on earth did you call me? I mean, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for that incredible gift. You don't need to get me anything for the next five Christmases, but why did you call me, not Dad? It was his first night teaching at Yale. He was having dinner with the dean. I'm not about to call him so he can excuse himself to come bail his wife out of jail. I can't begin to tell you how incompetent our police department is. That Officer Peters who pulled me over, he's going to be receiving a big, fat subpoena, and I'm not stopping there. Wait, mm -hmm. what is this? What's this car? What's going on here? Are you two on a date? No way, you're not changing the subject. We're not talking about anything else except you and the clink. Now, come on, spill. What was it like on the inside, huh? Did you try to tunnel your way out with a spoon, you know? Did they try to make you join a gang? And mom, now that you're on the outside, they're still on the inside, are they gonna try to use you as some kind of prison mule? I just, so much I need to know. 